We've turned a page on a tough year in 2020. Many look to a brighter 2021, of course, and one place where they're quite ready to do so is in the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office. As our Rod Maloney tells us, a new face at the top wants to leave the past behind with a swearing in and a commitment to higher ethical standards. A year ago, April, I stood in this very spot as Michigan State Police detectives were pulling computers and banking records out of Eric Smith's office here at the prosecutor's office. It wasn't too long thereafter that they pulled a security system out of Smith's home and then he ended up turning himself into the feds. Now that cloud has hung over this office ever since then. And the new prosecutor, Pete Lacido, says it's going to take a lot of long, hard work to get that cloud over this place to dissipate. I, Peter J. Lucido, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Lucido took the oath of office bright and early, as did his 58 assistant prosecutors. Many had to get to Zoom court appearances. But Lucido wanted to take the time to put the difficult past in the rearview mirror and make valuable points to his new staff. The taxpayers want to see results. All of us want to see results, whatever we seek. So do your best. Do it with humility, do it with compassion, and do it above all with honor. Most of those assistants worked for Smith, who is in the process of pleading guilty to obstruction of justice charges in federal court. Lucido admits moving on is going to take time, effort, and more attention to high ethical standards. Without ethics, you really don't have the public's trust to back. I want to restore that same faith, that same resilience, that same truth in honor of the profession today. Lucido crafted a special oath of office for everyone in the room, demanding assistants think back to their ideals when they swore in as new lawyers. But I'll assure you, with hard work, with guts, and with pride, all of us are resilient enough to go ahead and endure 2021 and embrace this future. In the meantime, former prosecutor Eric Smith has been fighting COVID, which delayed his plea, his guilty plea with the feds in his case. He's expected before a judge now on January 27th. In Mount Clemens, Rod Maloney, Local 4.